Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamisha, also known as Mrs. Coda. So you are here because you want to know what is the top paying employers that are in the greatest need of Codas right now in 2022. So I'm going to give you those numbers and those figures. So be sure to stay locked in. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you so much for coming and checking your girl out again on my channel. So I want to bring you some key information on what is the settings that are paying more? Who are these employers that need quotas? I know that people are, are feeling like coders are being phased out with all these new little systems and PDPM, but trust me, there's still a need for you guys to hold in there. I know it can be tough sometimes looking for work, but I'm going to tell you where you can go and what settings are paying the most. Now, this is based off of um, a U.S. census, right? And this is also based off of median numbers. So I'm not going to tell you what the minimum is. I'm not going to tell you what the highest is. I'm going to tell you what is the average amount. So the first, um, I should say the first setting slash employer is travel skilled nursing facilities. Yes. These travel companies are in need of quotas, are in need of services. So if you are thinking about doing travel therapy, that would be your number one um, employer when it comes to paying the highest. And what do they pay? So the median pay for a travel quota for within skilled nursing facilities in the U.S. is about 75000 a year. And that's equivalent to about $36 an hour. So you're looking at about $1,400 a week. That is the average. Okay. The second setting slash employer, I would say that is paying the highest and also looking for a need for CODA, I would say is your local skilled nursing facilities. This means that you are either employed or you are going through a rehab company. This is not, this is separate from travel. Okay. This is not travel therapy. The first one was travel therapy. This one is just um, going into a local skilled nursing facility. This seems to be the second, in my opinion, highest paying employer and they are paying $65,000 a year which ranges to be like $30, $31 an hour and you are taking home about $12.50 a week. Okay. So that's like the median average across, you know, the census across the um, U.S. census there. The third um, setting slash employer that is in need of quotas and is paying the highest, that would be the school system. So the school system average pay is about 58,000 and that ranges to about $27 an hour and that is about 1,100 a week of earning potential. And the fourth and last um, employers are setting that I'm going to mention, mention that is paying um, the highest and have the greatest need for CODAs would be pediatric clinics. Yes, outpatient pediatric clinics. They're paying about 55000 a year. So this is between about like $25, $26 an hour. You're looking at about 1000 maybe 1100 a week. Um, now, Again, like I said, this is median numbers. I'm sure you have some private settings that's going to pay differently, but for the most part, these are the most in demand um, settings for CODA. In my opinion, probably the least paying settings would be your community centers and your mental health because you have to think about funding, right? How are they being funded? And that can affect your pay. So I hope that this was helpful. Definitely go ahead and check out those numbers. If you have any other questions, please be sure to leave it right there in the description below. If you are still in um, OTA school and you are on the birds of finishing and you're doing your field work um, and you need help to pass your MBCLT exam, be sure to check out my um, course, Study with a Coda. 
and all the details you will find on the website. All right. Without further ado, that's about it. I hope that this was helpful. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time. Bye-bye, guys.